We use the term arthritis a lot within our community. But what actually is arthritis? What does it mean? Why does it happen? Why is it painful? And most importantly, how can we treat it? To answer these questions, we need to start by looking inside our joints. Now this is a normal knee joint, and you can see that the ends of the thigh bone and the top of the shin bone are covered in this smooth substance. Now this smooth substance is called articular cartilage. My grandpa, back in the day, would have referred to this as gristle. Now most of the joints in your body rely upon articular cartilage to function normally. When I look inside a normal, healthy joint, the articular cartilage looks beautifully white, smooth and shiny. It's also quite soft and spongy when you gently touch it with a probe. Articular cartilage creates a smooth surface that enables your joints to glide without pain. If you didn't have articular cartilage, you would literally have bone grinding on bone within your joints. Articular cartilage also acts like a cushion, protecting the bone beneath from shock. Now most people tend to think of bone as being dry and lifeless like a skeleton in a museum. However, inside your body, bone is very much alive. Living bone is full of blood and it bleeds when it becomes bruised. The bone near your joints might be hard on the outside, but it's quite soft on the inside. It actually looks and feels very similar to the honeycomb inside a chocolate bar. Now this bone, which is called metaphyseal bone, is quite fragile and it needs protection from the articular cartilage to survive. A loss of articular cartilage within a joint is the crucial first step in the development of arthritis. A lot of other changes do occur in the joint, but it all begins with the loss of cartilage. The articular cartilage in an arthritic joint looks very rough and it cracks and peels off the bone. It looks nothing like the normal cartilage we see inside a healthy joint. Eventually, it wears away to bare bone. Without the smooth gliding and cushion from cartilage, the bone beneath becomes bruised, swollen, and very painful. It literally starts to bleed, and we can see this bleeding and bruising very clearly on an MRI scan. Normal bone on an MRI scan looks black, but if the bone is bruised, there are patches of white, almost like somebody has spray painted the bone with white paint. Remember that I said that bone is a living tissue? Well, bone also has a very rich nerve supply and it becomes very painful when injured or inflamed. And this is one of the major causes of the dull, achy pain that can keep you awake at night and even hurt when you're not moving. But articular cartilage damage is just the starting point of arthritis. And this is a really important concept to understand. As arthritis progresses, it eventually involves your entire joint cartilage, bone, muscles, ligaments, tendons, and more. The waterproof lining of your joint is called synovium. And this also becomes red, swollen, and inflamed. The synovium produces excess fluid, and this is why patients with arthritic joints often describe so much swelling. The strong tissue around the outside of an arthritic joint, called the joint capsule, becomes scarred from the chronic inflammation of arthritis and it begins to permanently thicken and tighten. Imagine a tight band slowly constricting your joint over time. And this is the main reason why an arthritic joint becomes so stiff. Stiffness, weakness and pain, and the effect this has upon daily activities, are the major symptoms that patients describe as their arthritis worsens. And they are all evidence that arthritis is now involving your entire joint, not just the articular cartilage or joint surface. The most common form of arthritis that most people have heard of is osteoarthritis. We often describe this as wear and tear arthritis as our joints do tend to break down over time with ongoing use. Imagine your knee, for example, bending backwards and forwards literally hundreds of thousands of times a year. It's amazing that our joints last as long as they do with everything we put them through. Some people are more prone to developing arthritis than others and this is often because of our genetics. If your parents or grandparents develop bad arthritis, then there is an increased risk that you may also develop it. However, there are also other factors that play a role, such as your weight, occupation, 
regular high impact activities, and previous trauma to a joint, like a fracture or sporting injury. Inflammatory conditions, such as rheumatoid arthritis, are another cause of cartilage damage within your joint. While the underlying cause of these conditions is different to simple wear and tear osteoarthritis, the end result is the same, damage to the articular cartilage within your joint. And this sets off all the other changes in a joint that we've just described. If you would like to talk to me about how to best manage your arthritis, then please call my rooms at any time. If you haven't already had appropriate scans, then I can arrange these prior to your appointment.